Send Gauge, Tasks, Preview, this is Excel, Module 1, Print a Selection of a Worksheet. So the first thing you have to do is select the range, so it's B3 all the way to D11. So it's just a particular range that you'd want to print. Click File, Print, and instead of the entire print active sheets, you would like to choose because right now it's going to print everything, just the selection. So it narrows down just what you selected, and then click Print. Copy and paste using a paste option. So the first thing they want you to select is K4 to K6, and then you're going to choose Copy, and then you're going to select B4 to B6 and Paste. Now the only thing you want to do is use the Paste arrow button so that you can select uh, where it says, if you hover over, it should say values and numbers, numbering. So copies everything. Excel Module 2, change the color of a worksheet tab. So at the bottom, it's called Worksheets. Just right click and choose Tab Color, and under the standard colors, choose Orange. We're going to use um, a fill a range with formatting only, only using the autofill. So if you notice that um, worksheets attended five, um, workshops attended, select D4, and you'll use that tiny little green box as your fill handle, and you're going to fill from D5 all the way to 18, Oops. and then let go. But they're all fives, so click the autofill options and choose formatting only. So it's, it's putting it with the um, peach color in the background and it's centered, but not all fives. Change a chart type. So we're going to change it from a pie chart to a horizontal clustered bar. So select the chart. From the chart tools, select design. And under type, change chart type. And from Pi, go to Bar, and they want the one with the names on the left-hand side on the Y-axis, and the bars are in red. And then if you don't have the OK, click the down arrow, and that'll just move the um, dialog box so you can see OK. Apply a shape fill to a chart element. So if you click um, towards the title area, that's the chart area. If you hover it, um, where the, the bars are located, that's the plot area. So this would be the outside area, chart area, and this is the plot. When you're in the plot area, right click and choose fill, and they want orange um, 60%. So orange accent 6, lighter 60%. Apply a border to a chart element. They want a border applied to the pie chart legend. So select the legend. And if you right click, we did fill, now we're going to go to outline and we'll choose automatic for an automatic, um, the default color line. And then click anywhere outside of the chart. Filter a table in data sheet view using filter by form. So click advanced, filter by form. The default is to show up in the first column. Click in workshop date. And it's less than equal to 5 forward slash 1 forward slash 2017. And then toggle filter. Add a criterion for a date and time field to the query in design view. So in the workshop date, select the box underneath the check mark, which is the criteria. And it will be equal to, so it's just equal. And then the date, 4 slash 8 slash 2017 and then just click Run. Enter text in a content placeholder. Click the title and then type in Remodel Analysis. Then click where it has click to add text and type Modern Look. Press Enter and Resale Value. Create a formula using the IF function so click in E4, E4 is active, and then click the FX, which is the insert function command. And what you want to do is ask, um, you want the if, um, should be category most recently used, and the function is if, and click OK for the logical test. 
if um, e, D4, so D4, is greater than or equal to 25. So if D4, and we can look in the very first one, if D4 is greater than or equal to 25, the true value will be yes in all caps, and the false value will be no in all caps. And you can see your first one is yes because it's higher than 25. Five, and then go ahead and click OK. I didn't type the, the um, quotations. The um, system did it for me, but it had to be in all caps, both yes and no. Try that one more time. So you're an E4, insert function, if, OK. It should be greater than, and I put in greater than or equal to, and that's not there, so I made that up greater than 25 and it's yes and no Sorry about that. and then click OK all right the third time will be the uh, golden ticket here so click in E4 the insert function if and OK so the for the logical test is D4 greater than 25 Yes for the true and no for the false. There we go. I hope this was helpful.